everyone, welcome back to Risa Does Makeup. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the products that I have received in PR that I would actually go ahead and repurchase with my own money. This video concept is one that I have done in the past and it got a pretty good response. So I thought, why not do another one? A lot of the products I'm going to be talking about are ones that I've shown in recent videos or maybe not so recent videos, but you've seen them before. And the reason why there are products that I would repurchase with my own money is because I think they're really darn good. Several of these products I probably would never have tried had they not been sent to me. So let's jump into the products, the PR products that I think are so good and so worth the money that I would go out and buy them again on my own. This is the Strivectin Anti-Wrinkle Line Blur Factor, Instant Wrinkle Blurring Primer. I don't hear anybody talking about this product. And I was first sent this at least a year ago, possibly even two. And there is a chance that I might have featured this in my last PR products I would repurchase video. I probably should have gone back to watch that one first. Actually, I don't think it matters because I don't think anyone's going back to that video. And this is still a PR product that I love and they've thankfully sent me another one. So I didn't have to go out and repurchase it, but I would. This primer does such a good job at filling in my large pores and the fine lines. I used this primer when I did my friend and fellow YouTubers makeup, Jen Loves Reviews. She came to Las Vegas, not this last August, but the August before, and I did makeup on her channel. I think that video was on her channel or my channel. Either way, this is the primer I used and we both sort of sat there in awe as the primer worked its magic. She did have some fine lines on her forehead. Please, Jen, if you watch this, don't hate me for saying it. But we were both just so shocked at how well this really diffused the look of them. It just, it sort of made them disappear. And I'm not lying, it was really impressive. And this does the same thing for my pores. I think Strivectin as a whole is an underrated brand. They have so many really, really good products. And then a foundation I know for a fact I would never have tried had it not been sent to me is this Wander Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. I actually talked about this in my recent underrated foundations for mature skin video. And I mentioned in that video as well that the reason why I never gave this a second thought was because on Sephora's website, it doesn't say that it's good for oily skin. Normally, if a foundation is listed as best for dry, normal, or even combo, I don't get excited about it. I don't contemplate purchasing it. I like for it to say that it is for someone with oily skin. But anyway, I was sent this, so I had it sitting in a drawer for at least a month before I tried it, and it's so good. I even wore it when I was on a recent trip, well, not so recent, it was April, a trip to Mexico, and having oily skin, plus being in a humid climate, that really puts any foundation to the test. And this one held up really, really well. And then one of my top three favorite loose powders of all time has got to be the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. This is pricey, but it is a godsend for someone with mature skin. This powder is so whisper light. It gives such an airbrushed finish to the skin and it's hydrating. So many women fear using a powder to set their makeup or to touch up with because it can, a lot of powders can make the skin look older. But the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder, I promise you, you will love the way your makeup looks when you set with this product. I have a couple of shades. I have the original, but then I think three or four months ago, maybe three months ago, By Terry came out with tinted shades and I love 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 the shade natural for my entire face and the shade rosy light for setting my under eyes. Oh you know what I did this out of order I should have shown this before the powder. 
This is the Stands Out Beauty Makeup Blending Sponge. I talk about this sponge all the time because it is my favorite method of applying liquid foundations. I don't know why it's not talked about more. I think I'm the only YouTuber that really, 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 really loves the sponge. I use it far more often than I use a beauty blender. This sponge, if you've not seen me use it or if you haven't heard about it before, it's sort of like using a piece of a memory foam mattress to apply your foundation. You can use it damp or dry. I prefer to use it dry and it covers so much more area much faster than the Beauty Blender. It gives me that medium to full coverage that I really, really like. Whereas I feel a Beauty Blender often shears out a foundation and if that's what you want, that's great. But if you don't want that, you need to get yourself a stands out beauty sponge. I would say one sponge lasts me three months with daily use. I'm pretty hard on my sponges though. I mean, I really beat myself in the face with the sponge and I wash it quite often. Whenever I stray from it and maybe use a new foundation brush I got in the mail or purchase a new foundation brush, I always end up going back to using this sponge. All right, moving on to eyes, lips, and cheeks. I want to start off with this set that I was recently sent from Buxom. It's one of their holiday sets and it's only $29 for all three products. It is called the Goldmine Plumping Lip Set and it has a new shade called Sugar Drop. In this set, you get this Buxom Plump Liner in Incognito. And this is yet another underrated product. These plump liners are really good. What I did today was I lined my entire lip and filled in with the plump liner. And I do like that it has this brush on the end because it really helps to blend in. I use this even if I'm not using the color pencil on this side, if I'm using just any lip liner and maybe it's a little bit too dark, I'll use the brush end of this and blend in my lip liner. So I like having the brush on the end. I've been a fan of the Buxom lip glosses for at least 10 years when there was only maybe 10 to 12 shades and now there seems to be 30 plus shades if not more. I, every time I go to Ulta I see that stand that's like four sided and it spins around and it's full of uh, Buxom lip glosses. They're just so good. I love the little plumping feel that they have. Do I think they actually plump up my lips? No, not really, but they do have that nice little tingle. I know some people don't like the little tingle, but I am into the tingle and I love so many of the shades. I love how shiny they are. I enjoy the little peppermint taste and smell that they have. So getting back to this set, you get the plump liner. You also receive the Buxom Gloss in Dolly, which is one of the original shades actually. And then this new shade called Sugar Drop. And this is so pretty. The combo makes such a great nude or neutral lip. All right, moving on to blush. This is another Buxom product. Now, let me digress again for a moment. I am not on a lot of brand PR lists. I know that might come as a surprise to a lot of people because I do have a pretty decent sized subscriber count, over 100,000. And it wasn't until I think I had like 50,000 subscribers that I even started to get anything at all. But um, yeah, I am on the Buxom PR list. Once in a while, the Urban Decay, they'll send me something. Um, Wander Beauty, I mean, that's fine. I'm grateful for whatever I get. But if I'm gonna be on a limited PR list, if I'm not gonna be on a lot of brands PR lists, I'm glad to be on the ones that I am on because these are the brands that I really, really like. And when Buxom sent me these blushes, they sent me the full line of the Wanderlust Primer Infused Blushes. I was ecstatic because these are so good. I even mentioned them in my recent favorites video, my November favorites. The one I have on right now is called Dolly. Um, Havana is one that I mentioned in my favorites video. It's just a beautiful, bubblegum pink shade. 
These smell so good. They smell like suntan lotion, but they're not overly cloying. You know, sometimes a suntan lotion scent can be not so good, but this smells great. Um, Ibiza is a brighter pink. There is really a shade for everyone in this Buxom blush range. And they're pigmented. They blend easily. They're long wearing. I can't say enough good things about these. And truth be told, I actually did purchase before I was sent these in PR, I did purchase two shades myself. I purchased um, uh, Seychelles, which is the neutral, like a nude shade. And then I think I may have purchased Dolly. And then about three or four weeks ago, I was so graciously sent the full line, but I can't recommend these enough. I would definitely go out and repurchase many of these shades should I run out. All right, next up are these Wonder 2 Superstay Stick Eyeshadow Pencils. This brand reached out to me about six weeks ago to do a partnered or sponsored video with them. And as I tell every brand that I need to try their products first, I'm not going to say yes to any type of sponsorship unless I'm given the opportunity to, number one, try the products for at least three weeks, longer if it's a skincare product, and secondly, be able to tell the truth about how I feel about the products. If a company doesn't want me to say both the good and the bad, then I don't agree to the sponsorship. But Wonder 2 was really, really nice. They sent me a great package full of products. And one of the products that really stood out to me was, or were, these Super Stay Stick Eyeshadows. I've been using these to layer under other eyeshadows to make them look a lot more pigmented, especially metallics. They're very similar to the Laura Mercier caviar sticks. You just run it all over your lid and you can use your finger to blend it out or you can use a brush to blend it out. These sticks could be used for a one and done everyday eye look. Or as I mentioned, you can layer a powder shadow on top of it and it will make whatever shade you're applying look a lot more intense. And these are super long lasting. They don't crease. I like them for underneath too. I like to run it underneath here for a nice subtle eyeliner look. I'm in several different shades. The two I'm using, the two I'm using the most are Angelic and this bronzy shade called, what are you called? Sandstorm. These are both great. And finally, I thought I would show you guys this Belief Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser. I have finished this. It was sent to me over the summer, I think. They sent me this along with the Aqua Gel Moisturizer, which I also really like. I finished that one too. I am one of those people, especially you know, as a YouTuber, I try new skincare all the time. So when I finished both of these, I moved on to other things, but that doesn't mean that I didn't think that these were really, really good. They had actually sent me the full size moisturizer and the mini of this cleanser, and I liked it so much, I went out and bought the full size. Now I'm back to using my May Love Day Eraser, which I just showed you guys in my recent, my updated skincare routine. But this is a glass bottle and it's an oil, so it doesn't travel that well. I prefer to travel with something like this, and I actually might buy another one just to take on my cruise that I'm going on next week because it just, it's so much more travel friendly. And it's great at removing all of your makeup, including waterproof eye makeup. It's just a really nice product. And this is something that I definitely would spend my own money on. So on the back of this, it says that this jelly textured cleanser easily adheres to the skin to remove stubborn makeup impurities and build up. The bouncy jelly cleanser creates a dense, soft and rich foam that contains glycerin and plant derived ingredients known to help moisturize the skin to prevent the tight, dry feeling after cleansing and hydrates the skin for a smooth glowing complexion. And yeah, that's one of the things I really did enjoy about this cleanser was how foaming it was. I'm a lover of foam. <laughs> I'm a lover of lather when it comes to shampoo and a lover of foam when it comes to washing my face. For some reason, it just feels like somehow I'm getting cleaner that way. All right, so how many was that? Eight, I think. Um, there really aren't any others. Well, maybe the Nakia Joy lashes that I have on. I had talked about the Nakia Joy loose powder in a video or maybe on Instagram and they reached out to me, Nakia Joy Cosmetics reached out to me and they sent me a big box full of 
more powder because that is an excellent loose powder. The Nakia Joy loose powder is also excellent, but that's definitely one that's more geared towards oily skin, whereas the By Terry is better for more mature and dry skin. But if you are oily, you can definitely check out the Nakia Joy powder. Um, that is the one that I would, so I guess there is more than eight. That is another product that I would repurchase with my own money as well as, like I said, the lashes. She's got a bunch of different lash styles. Some of them are far too dramatic for me. So when they reached out, I asked them to send me their most lightweight, most natural looking lashes. And that's what they did. These are my favorites. They're called Ashley 2.0. They also sent me this set of lashes. So as you can see, those are all very natural styles and that's what I personally prefer. I wish they had sent me more of these Ashley 2.0s because these are my favorite and I don't think they're in this set, but I will definitely be repurchasing more of these in the near future. Okay guys, now I think we have completed this video on the PR products that I would repurchase with my own money. I do hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to Risa Does Makeup, I would truly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and became part of the Risa Does Makeup family. We would love to have you. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter under the same username. It's all Risa Does Makeup. And that'll do it for this one. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.